Trash to treasure, trash to treasure, trash to treasure. Do we all cash me? I got gold nuggets, I got small dimes, I got me some quarters, and I'm gonna gonna cash in. Do we all cash me? Welcome to Trash to Treasures, where someone else is trash. It's someone else. Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going over some of our old spots, just cruising through, doing some errands, and on the way back, you know, trying to get after a little bit of that action. Now what I like to do is I like to cruise through, you know, sometimes I go out of my way just to go scope it out, but really it's only when I'm pulling back in to my complex or other complexes, and I just kind of skedaddle through, kind of take a quick peek. Again, this is daytime. Um, I've had some of my best hunting during the uh, the nighttime hours once folks have taken items back um, you know kind of secretively down the stairways because you know some people they're just embarrassed about putting large objects um, they don't want to be known as those people um, or they again don't know if it's okay or not but so we're just kind of cruising through going back to my garage here and uh, scoping it out and what I like to do is I have my little track I like to do where I hit about seven cans before I pull in every time and uh, right now we're coming around the bin here and I'm gonna be showing you guys something that popped uh, my eyeballs out a little bit I saw a uh, real nice look like queen queen size mattress and uh, my buddy he uh, is collecting box springs and mattresses right now and flipping those um, of course good condition of course and so let's cruise around and let's go uh, have a little look-see. And I still got to show you guys some of my latest scores uh, off camera that I have. Alrighty guys, scratch that mattress. That thing is beat up. So again, this is what's nice during the daytime. You fly by and uh, people, unfortunately some people, they actually do put it behind this wall right here. Most folks lay the objects right here in the center, which is very nice because it's easy to spot and easy to grab them. Uh, for instance, if that was in good condition, that would be a pain to get back uh, to a storage or a garage, and you're going to have to need a two-man crew for that. That's where my buddy comes into play. But again, just from here, it's beat up right over here, beat up down here. You can't scratch that at all unless you wanted to call someone to donate it to, uh, um, you know, drive it down to um, uh, another country or, or whatnot and donate it to them. So check this out while I'm in the car with you guys here. Look what I got in my back seat here. And I had to be a little careful of the leather here, but check out this, and I'll show you guys a very, very detailed picture outside the car. But look at this hydraulic lever, little um, nice little clean condition, nice little kind of igloo black leather chair. It's pretty sick. So uh, that was my score last night. So let me tell you guys a story here. So um, last night I'm doing some rounds. I find this uh, seven drawer. Um, six door, uh, six drawer, seven drawer. I think it was seven drawer IKEA dresser. We're talking 150 brand new, right? Thing looks good condition, about eight out of ten. Sellable, easy flip, eh, 60, 70 bucks probably to the right buyer, maybe more. Um, I sold my wife's old one, probably 9.5 condition. Sold that for about 100 bucks. This one was probably worth about 70. So I called my boy. You know, he's already in bed. I'm like, hey, let's run this. You know, you got the storage here in the garage. You got the truck. Let's hit this up. Let's do this. And so he comes out. We load it up. And we find uh, a couple uh, busted pieces. I don't know if we did that loading it up or not. But it uh, turned out to be kind of flimsy. And so, unfortunately, sometimes you grab it. You get it back to the shop. And you're like, man, this is not worth it. You know, you could probably salvage it. But uh, the value just got cut in half. And is that really worth your time? So, um, you know, uh, he, uh, he was a little bummed out about it because we thought we were going to have a good score. But, uh, um, you know, hey, that's just one for, the, uh, one for the books right there. All right, I got one more funny story for you guys here. So the other day I'm driving back home. I look over. And uh, the other day I found a brand new pair. I'm talking brand new pair of Adidas running shoes. Don't ask me why. These people probably already threw away the box, tried them on and said, oh my gosh, these are too small or too big. And so they totally just put them very strategically so they wouldn't get dirty or dusty by the dumpster. And I picked them up, I scored them. So the same dumpster, I'm sitting there and I'm looking, I'm pulling up the other day, and I see this pair of blue Nike running shoes. 
and I'm going, uh, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a score. We're talking probably a bill minimum, you know? And I was like, man, okay, I got to get out of the car and I got to run this like ASAP. And so as I was pulling up and about to put the car in park, I see some kid, some high school kid, and he totally has the shoes. The uh, He's trying one of them on and like, you know, or, or he dropped it because he got scared. I was, you know, coming in on him, you know, whatever. I'm not really sure. But so... I parked the car and I'm like, oh my gosh, all right, I'm going to go back and see if this kid, you know, left them or whatever, you know, hopefully they're too big for him. And as I was pulling back, I see the kid um, with the shoes underneath his shirt skateboarding away and I'm like, ah, he took my score. So the moral of the story is, if you see something, you got to pop out of your car and you got to act fast. You know, you can't put your car in the garage, go up, take the groceries in and then call it a day. You know what I'm saying? You got to get after it and you got to get after it fast. Because this gold is not going to mine itself. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be taken by itself. You know what I'm saying? So, All right, guys. It's Sunday night now. Same day, Sunday night. And we're going out to another different new complex here. And all right, I'm coming up on one right now. And I see like a bucket. And wow, I see like a huge king-size mattress. Let me flip this around here. All right, there it is right there. I don't want to draw too much attention, so I'm not going to turn on the light. But... That is a king size mattress right there. You see in the light foreground. And then I got something on the ground. I'm going to go in for a closer look. All right. So the king size mattress, it was, eh, it was decent, but it looked like it had a grape juice spill on uh, one of the edges and any stains, any little stains on a mattress and people are definitely over it. So you got to be careful about that. And again, this new complex, this one's big, and so I'm kind of um, I'm kind of rolling around different little areas of it, trying to figure out um, the layout of it. So I just uh, cruised through one portion, checked it out, and now I'm heading towards another portion, the other end of it. Um, I did see some DVD boxes, no DVDs inside, that same trash can with um, the uh, king-size mattress. So we're gonna keep looking some kids' toys, but you know we'll go ahead and let that uh, let that slide. We're looking for the looking for the big dogs. But I did fly, find a uh, blood pressure monitor, first can of the night, and it looks like it's in good condition. So I want to uh, show you guys up close the blood pressure monitor. All right, excellent. Again, I'm just kind of swooping around, checking out the cans here. Here we go, guys. We got another mattress here. Looks king size here. And I don't know if it's uh, perfect, but let's go in for a closer look here. It's a uh, it's an ace bed. A little stain down there, not good. What is this? We got a little flow vacuum here, Euro Pro X. A little household vacuum. Um, ultra big shark. You know that's pretty good for uh, maybe vacuuming the uh, vacuuming the car, but. Um, I do have a shop vac, so we might let that one stay. All right, and some people probably think I'm crazy why I didn't grab the vacuum, that little Shark Ultra Pro. Um, I could sit there and I could, you know, search on eBay, see if it's any, you know, worth anything. I could grab it, and if it's not worth anything, you could huck it in the trash at back at your place or whatever. Um, I know it's a quick grab, but I just left it there. Um, I have a shop vac, you know, at home that's really good in my garage and. I'm not in uh, dire need of a uh, small vacuum, even though that vacuum is pretty nice. Don't get me wrong. If it was an easy 30 or 40 flip, I would have took it. But sometimes uh, the hassle of only making like $10 profit, unless you're really hurting. I mean, a hey, $10 is, that's a good profit. But unless you're really hurting for cash, um, you know, just leave it to someone that actually would need it, you know. Or if you're, if you do know someone that, you know, needs a vacuum, grab it for them so that they can uh, enjoy it and have it and save some cash. But, um, you know, I have a list of things that I'm going to grab for other folks, but that's not really on the list now. And so we're hitting up uh, one of the last cans here uh, of the evening. We might go to another complex before we head home, but we got one last can. So let's, uh, let's see what we got. Oh, wow. Wow, guys. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. That, my friends, in the foreground is a DLP TV. So let's take a closer look. All right, guys, we got a DLP TV here. And 
This thing is nice. This thing has to be at least 60 inches DLP TV. And I'd be an idiot not to take this. I wish I knew if it worked or not. But the screen looks intact. Alright guys, so I grabbed the DLP TV, and as I'm grabbing it, well, to tell you the truth, it was, I mean, it was heavy, but it wasn't a tube TV heavy, and I'm not sure if that makes any sense or not, but I was able to pick this up by myself, and probably I want to say this thing was only like 60 pounds, if that. So, I don't know if, to tell you the truth, I mean, it's in the back of the car right now, it's right there, so I don't know... If this thing has been gutted, if the person, I mean, it looks prime condition. Like I said, I didn't see a remote control or anything like that. It might be some electronics guy that has just stripped the inside of it out and has just left the screen with no uh, DLP tube or whatever's inside of a DLP. Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, it seemed a little bit lightweight. So um, I hope I haven't just loaded this thing up for... Um, no reason at all. So I'm hoping there's some guts inside of this TV, but thing looked nice. It looked like a great condition DLP. No bangs, no scratches on the interior of it. Um, so we're going to go home. We're going to plug it in. We're going to see what we got. So here's the TV, guys. Here's some pictures of it. And again, it worked. I was very surprised. No remote, but it worked and plays movies. Fantastic. The only problem with this TV was the DMD chip was slowly going out which causes white specks to appear on the screen it is repairable very easy to do but I said you know what let me just sell it I don't have any room at my place so I was able to flip it for a hundred bucks so thank you so much for coming along with me for the ride in this episode episode two we got episodes three and four already edited ready to upload so stay tuned for those a lot more better finds on the way Thank you guys as always. Have a wonderful night.